Hello and welcome to this My Number Bank tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create a barcode image using My Number Bank. First, you need to ensure you have enough barcode image credits available. If you have three credits, it means you can create barcodes for three different product types. You can obtain additional credits whilst in My Number Bank. The more you purchase at one time, the cheaper the credit. When you're ready to get your barcode, head to the appropriate product and click Create. A box will appear asking you to confirm that you'd like to use a credit. Click confirm. On the next screen, you'll find a few options that may initially look confusing. I'm here to guide you through them. Print method is preset to labels as that's what most people print barcodes on, but there are other options available. Both the printing process and the substrate or surface you print on can affect the barcode's characteristics. Depending on which option you select, some of the values below will update to suit the method. Mag factor or magnification factor relates to the size of the barcode that will be produced. 100% is the standard size for an EAM barcode. And at that size, your symbol will be roughly 37 millimeters wide by 23 millimeters high but you are able to reduce this as low as 85% if you have a smaller item, or you can even go as large as 120% when space isn't an issue. BWR stands for bar width reduction, and this setting enables compensation for bar growth or reduction, which occurs during the print process. This will adjust automatically as you change the print method though it can also be adjusted manually. The value selected indicates the percentage each bar will be reduced by. DPI refers to dots per inch, and this should be adjusted to suit the specifications of your printer. The higher the DPI of your printer, the better quality the printed barcode will be. Higher DPI printers may be necessary if you're printing a relatively small barcode. Once you finish with the settings, you can create or download your barcode image. Barcode images are created in various file formats. Please note that EPS files can only be opened with specialist design software. It's a high quality file that is often preferred by designers. You can still download the EPS file and send it to your designer by email without opening it if required. No preview is available for EPS and SVG formats. Most GS1EK members will be creating EAN 13 barcodes. However, if you've been allocated GTIN 8 or GTIN 12s, you'll also be able to create EAN 8 or UPCA barcode symbols respectively. If you've allocated GTIN 14s to your cases, you'll also be able to create ITF 14 barcodes. The settings and principles are the same as for your EAN 13 barcodes, except we have a standard size of 100% for your ITF 14 barcodes. Please note, ITF 14 barcodes will not scan at point of sale. They're intended for trading units that get scanned in warehouses and back of stores and so on. If you require SSCCs and shipping labels, we can provide GS1 EK members with free access to the GS1 print service. We're also able to help members with GS1 powered QR codes. See our website for more details. For any other barcode formats required, you will either need to purchase some software or speak to one of the solution providers on the GS1 UK website. I hope you found this useful. Please take a look at our other tutorials for additional help with GS1 UK products and services. Thanks for watching.